In the beginning, there was nothing but the vast emptiness of the cosmos, an endless void of silent darkness. From this stillness emerged Garwood, a deity born from the very fabric of the universe, a shimmering entity woven from starlight and cosmic dust. Garwood breathed life into the cold expanses by merging the primal elements of water and stone, crafting a world of vibrant landscapes and flowing rivers of towering mountains and lush valleys. As the waters flowed and the stones formed, life erupted in myriad forms. Tiny creatures scuttled in the mud, vibrant plants unfurled towards the sun, and among all these beings, humanity emerged. Garwood watched over them, curious and eager to see what would unfold. The humans, gifted with a spark of intellect, were not merely animals, they possessed. The ability to wonder, to create, and to dream. Realizing their potential, Garwood descended to them in a magnificent display of celestial glory. Veiled in radiant light, he opened his arms, and from his essence, he bestowed upon them the sacred gift of knowledge, the understanding of fire, the secrets of the stars, the very nature of creation itself. The humans were enthralled by this newfound knowledge, their minds ignited with possibilities. With this power, they crafted great civilizations, they built towering cities and invented marvelous machines. They harnessed the forces of nature, learned to bend it to their will. At first, there was harmony, they marveled at the wonders of their land, creating art and music that echoed through the ages. They offered thanks to Garwood, believing. Their prosperity came from his grace. But as the fire of knowledge burned brighter, it cast long shadows upon their hearts. The humans grew ambitious, their insatiable curiosity twisting into greed and envy. The very gifts of understanding that Garwood had imparted became tools of division. They designed weapons that could ravage cities, concocted schemes that turned friend against friend. Science, which had once been a beacon of hope, spiraled into a means of self-destruction. Garwood witnessed this transformation with dread in his heart. He observed families torn apart by conflict, cities reduced to ruins, and the once bountiful landscape scarred by destruction. In their quest for power and domination, they overlooked the land that had nurtured them, and in doing so, they doomed themselves. Desperate to save the beings he had so lovingly created, Garwood chose to intervene once more. He descended amidst the ruins of a war-torn city, his radiant form flickering like a dying star. He spoke to the leaders gathered beneath the debris of their ambitions, his voice reverberating like thunder. Why do you pursue a path that leads to your own demise? Knowledge is a double-edged sword, and you wield it blindly. The people listened, their hearts heavy with guilt and fear. They saw the destruction surrounding them, the broken towers, the empty streets, the lifeless bodies strewn across. Strewn across the ground. Many began to weep, realizing the weight of their folly. Yet, even in their sorrow, there were those who still clung to the illusion of control, thinking they could harness more power, that they could resurrect their fallen empires through greater strength. Garwood's heart broke at this sight. He rose into the sky, a figure radiating sorrow, and with one final act, he unleashed a torrent of cosmic energy. It swirled through the atmosphere like a tempest, saturating the ground with the essence of the cosmos itself. This energy granted a final gift, the chance for redemption. It would awaken the spirits of nature, calling forth the forests and rivers to reclaim what had been lost, to heal the earth. In that moment, the knowledge that had driven them to ruin transformed into wisdom. The humans felt a profound connection to the world around them, understanding that their survival depended on harmony rather than control. They glimpsed the futility of their greed and laid down their arms in favor of collaboration. As the skies cleared and the storm subsided, Garwood watched the humans begin anew. They sought to mend their relationships, to learn from the past, to embrace the balance between nature and technology. Though scarred, their world began to flourish once more, nurtured by the wisdom of the past and the hope of the future. Garwood, now concealed within the very fabric of the universe, knew that he could not shield them from their choices. Yet he remained as a quiet guardian, a whisper of love and wisdom carried on the wind. In every flowing river, every rustling leaf, and every shining star, his spirit lived on a reminder that knowledge, when embraced with humility and care, could forge paths to healing rather than destruction. The universe had created life, but it was within the hands of its inhabitants to shape their destiny.